Welcome back to another video everyone. So if you've been on the channel for a while now, you'll know that I'm a massive beans on toast advocate. A lot of people look at beans on toast and say it's disgusting without actually trying it and I'm trying to change that. Beans on toast isn't the only thing that I have though. I also have beans on toast with ham, tuna and cheese dumped on it as well. Beans and hot Cheetos on toast, massive fan of that. And recently I've not even been having the toast, I've just been putting a hot can of beans onto the plate and then just mixing tuna into it. I like beans, okay? Now I get sent memes and stuff all the time saying, oh, this is something you would do. But all of those jokes aside, there is a limit, okay? I'm not gonna put beans on everything. This is where the Weetabix Twitter account comes in. So if you're not familiar, Weetabix are very nice. I actually have them every morning, put some milk on them, put some fruit in there delicious but uh the weetabix twitter account manager is clearly trolling over here because they posted this now if even i won't put beans on weetabix then you know something's wrong this looks fucking disgusting now i know for a fact that this community manager is not being serious right now they are 100 trolling there's no sane person on the planet that would ever do this but you know what i'm gonna do it i'm gonna test it out who knows you know my whole rule is don't judge it until you try it so i can't really be doing that right now can i it's just I've had Weetabix countless times, I've had beans countless times, I know they don't go together. But well done, Weetabix community manager, well done, you really did cause some shit with this one. Yeah, this is looking rather putrid. Well, there we go, let's go in for it. It's not that bad. I'm just kidding. It's, it's, it's bad. At first, that was disgusting. Okay, but as I started to chew more and it started to blend in together, it became tolerable, but it's definitely not something, it, it's definitely not something you'd actually want to eat, but that's it, tolerable. Like I said, no sane person would ever want to eat this. You know what? I will go for another bite. Not because I enjoy it, guys. No, I don't. I don't, okay? But just, just to give it, you know, a fair review. I think the reason it becomes tolerable later on is because uh, the sort of flavour of the Weetabix and the dryness of it, it sort of goes away and you're really only tasting the beans and the sauce. From me, this is going to receive a 1 out of 10 ranking. I've got to hand it to the community manager of the Weetabix page though. I mean, you really, really did stir some stuff up with that tweet. I mean, your bloody whole page is about Weetabix, right? You've got to do something to make it entertaining. That being said, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here and I will see you all in my next video.